we're going to take a look at the flush. What is a flush? And what is the probability and odds of getting one in five card poker? This is definitely my favorite one to calculate because it's the most mathematically nerdy one. Compared to the other hands, a really big prime number comes out. It's kind of cool. So this is for simple five card draw poker where there are no extra cards and no community cards. You might want to watch our permutations and combinations tutorials first in order to fully understand the calculation. Disclaimer, we do not encourage gambling. Remember, the house always wins. You ready for this? Let's take a look. So the first thing, what is a flush? A flush is a hand where all the cards are in the same suit, but they're not in sequence. Okay, so here you can see we have all spades, but the ranks are not in sequence. They're not four, five, six, seven, eight. They're all sort of mixed up and all over the place, and there's not a consecutive order. So let's see how many flushes are possible. As we said, we have our choice of four suits. So that's going to be four C1. And then we have 13 ranks to choose from, right? And we need to choose five cards from those. So it's going to be 13 C5. But the problem here is, this as it is here also includes the straight flush and the royal flush. So we're going to have to subtract those. If you watched our presentations, the number of straight flushes is 9C1 times 4C1, and the number of raw flushes is just 4, or in other words, 4C1. Calculating this, 4C1 is 4, 13C5, ooh, what's that? Factorial 13 over factorial 5, also over factorial of the difference, factorial 8. Multiplying that out. It's 13 times 12 times 11 times 10 times 9 times factorial 8 all over 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 times the factorial 8 will copy down. Let's see what this boils down to. The factorial 8s cancel out. We also have 5 times 2 is 10, cancelling with the 10 on the top. We also have 3 times 4, cancelling with the 12. That simply leaves us with 13 times 11 times 9. I'm just going to put it up here straight away. We'll leave it like that. Doing the rest here. 9C1 is 9. 4C1 is 4. And over here, 4C1 is just 4. This is where it gets cool. I'm going to factor out a 4 from all this stuff. Take it a 4 times and open some brackets. What's left? Does that make sense? Let's check it. 4 times all this equals all this. 4 times 9 equals 9 times 4. 4 times 1 equals 4. And this boils down to 4 times 13 times 11 times 9. Hmm, what's that? Let's just knock this out. 13 times 11, I know, is 1, 4, 3 times 9. 1, 4, 3 times 9. Mm, 3 9s are 27, carry the 2, 4 9s are 36, 38, carry the 3, 1 9s 9, plus 3 is 12. 1287, let's put that here. 1287 minus 9 minus 1. And this all becomes simply 4 times 1 2 8 7 minus 9 minus 1 is going to be 1 2 7 7. And busting this out too. 7 4s are 28, carry the 2. 7 4s are 28 again, carry the 2 again. 30. 2 4s are 8, plus 3 is 11. And 1 4 is 4, and plus 1 is 5. 5 1 0 8 hands. So for simple 5 card poker, there are 5,108 possible flush hands. And that prime number I was telling you about, the really big one, this is it, 1,277. Kind of cool, huh? Let's take a look at the probability and odds of getting a flush now. So, total number of hands, 5,108. We're going to put this on top, but instead of writing it like that, I'm going to write it in this factored form. 4 times 1,277. Probability is going to be that divided by 52C5, which has been put into its format here. Dividing by that, it's going to get inverted and multiplied, and 47 factorial is going to cancel from the top and the bottom, leaving 52 times 51 down to 48 on the bottom, 
factorial 5 over here and our 4 times 1, 2, 7, 7 here. Now let's see what cancels. 4 through is at 12, 12 times 4 will cancel with a 48 on the bottom. And we also have 5 times 2, which is 10, cancelling with a 10 down in the bottom, so the 50 becomes a 5. Always like doing that one. Since 1, 2, 7, 7 is prime, that's all that's going to cancel. So simplified, it's going to be 1, 2, 7, 7 over 52 times 51 times 5 times 49. Let's work this out. If you use a calculator for the denominator, you're going to get 1, 2, 7, 7 left on the top and on the bottom, 6, 4, 9, 7, 4, 0. Oh. Doing that on the calculator as a percentage, that will be 0.20%, just to two decimal places. Very rare. We'll come over here now and look at the odds of getting a flush. So for every 649,740 hands, we can expect 1,277 to be a flush. And if you do the subtraction, you could expect 648, 463, hands to not be a flush. Dividing both of these by 1277, we end up with 507.8 to 1. So there you go, the odds of getting a flush for five card poker, over 500 to 1. Thanks for watching.